Hi, this is uh, Chris Ogle, and as many of you will be aware, uh, it is uh, the intention of Link for Growth during 2013 to accelerate our growth uh, and the scope of where we cover through using uh, Google Plus as a platform on which to build the infrastructure of Link for Growth. Now, in order to uh, explain that being a very new platform there will be a workshop that will be uh, written over the Christmas break of 2012 and uh, this uh, workshop will then be rolled out so that uh, each of us can see how we can uh, interact with Google Plus to uh, facilitate growing the communities around the country. In line with that what I've done is I've set up a number of districts as uh, in, in a similar way to those uh, business pages within Facebook so our district pages are very similar within Google Plus uh, to the to the Facebook pages so that's quite easy for us to, to get to grips with but the uh, difference is, is that you can't really interact with those pages unless you follow them so information that is put into those uh, business pages in Google Plus um, will uh, not be available to you um, unless, uh, unless you follow the page. So what I'm going to do in this very short video is explain to you how you can follow uh, the Link for Growth district pages. Now you may want to follow pages that are not uh, districts that are not local to you and that and that's entirely up to you but uh, generally you'll be interested in following the districts that that you're part of so I'm going to just type in link for growth in this search box here and what that will do is it will give me all the posts that are mentioning link for growth and you can see here there's there's different bits and po pieces that have been posted but I don't want and you can see here it says here this is everything but I don't want everything all I want is the people and the pages so you just click on that and what it now does is it just siphons out all the bits that are relevant so you can see now link for growth Cambridgeshire link for growth Southwest Hearts link for growth Northwest London link for growth West Essex etc etc and all the, these people here are the people that are the district leaders now what I'm going to do is I haven't got anybody set up for the Bristol one so you can see here that it's got um, a space here where I can follow it. Now I can go into the page if I wish to. So if I click on uh, the actual uh, thing there, what will you can see here now? I've got a chance to click here, follow, or follow here. Now when I mouse over the follow, what it's doing is giving me a list of all the um, circles that I've got. And you can see here that I've got one set up. I set this up myself. Uh, and I can, you can create a new circle by just type, clicking on this link and it will give you a chance to put in the name and I've just called one link for growth districts because I basically will subscribe to all the districts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add this Bristol one into that district and as you can see now uh, what it's done is is it's basically marked this as in, in the link for growth districts uh, circle I can add it to more if I want to but that's now uh, in that uh, in that area so I can click the back arrow and that will take me back to the page I had before and you can see so I can then go in and do uh, more following if I wish but you would have noticed that I could have followed it directly from this page here if I mouse over here I can add it into different uh, circles and you'll see it's already in my Alpha G district circle but I could add it to others if I wish so now what's happened is I'm now following um, I'm now following that uh, that page which means the um, things that happen on that page I will now be notified but more importantly more importantly is that I can now be invited to join a community <coughs> or I can find communities within those pages that I might want to join. So for example, when I go on to the Southwest Hearts district here, so you can see here that um, there is actually 
communities here which I've set up. One's for Link for Growth Watford and the other which is a general one for Link for Growth in Watford. I might have another one for Barnet, I might have another one for Bigmansworth. And what I've got here is another one which I've set up which is for the Watford and Croxley business parks. So you can see there I've set that one up and these can be set up individually within the districts. So uh, this is information updates from one of the largest business parks in Watford. If you own a business here, work here in the Watford area, then please come in on and take, and take part. So, so people can actually now um, uh, request to join this community. But what we have is we've, we're setting these communities up as moderated because it doesn't make any sense to have people that are in America or Australia joining a group that's basically designed to serve the people of Watford and Croxley Business Park. So it will be moderated and, um, and people will, will be able to join them, but we have to put some sense into it. And these could be any types of communities. They could be communities that relate to charities. And what you can see here, if you look carefully down here, is that I've set up uh, a number of different, if you like, um, categories for the posts in this section. So when you come to put a post in, you can select which one you want to put it under, which means that if people are looking for events or announcements or, or jobs, they'll just get the posts that relate to those things. So we could have, as another example, charities as a main, uh, a main um, uh, community, and then we could set up all the different charities that exist within that community in here as separate discussion topics so that people can see all the posts or they can see posts specific to a particular charity. And this is going to be fantastic for including people who we meet because everyone in the community is going to be able to be put into our infrastructure for uh, link for growth within within the Google Plus environment. So this is really really exciting, and uh, and I think it's gonna gonna work really well for us. So that that's a very brief introduction um, into uh, how you can uh, follow um, a a community, and I'll, and I uh, sorry how you can follow a, a business page or a, or a district, um, and then of course uh, once you are following uh, a business page you can then start to uh, get yourself um, into those communities uh, and those that you want to join so uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed that and what I would say is is please go on and follow the district community that you belong to because it yeah then then we start to open up the opportunity for us to, to participate so uh, go in, type in the link for growth uh, in, the, in the search, follow the districts that you want to and then uh, and we can really start to get things moving. Okay, so look out for a lot more videos on Google Plus uh, because uh, um, we're going to be doing lots and uh, lots of development work on here to make sure that we can uh, we can really start to do and deliver on, on what we what we want to do, which is rebuild communities. Okay, so uh, thanks very much for listening and uh, catch you all soon.